This video will show you how to do all of the preprocessing steps on your computer. Before you continue, make sure you've already installed FSL and that you've downloaded the Flinker dataset. If you need help with either of those, see the links in the more info box down below. This tutorial is split into three shorter videos, one covering brain extraction and a brief introduction to the FSL data viewer, one showing you how to use feet, which does most of the pre-processing steps, and a final video demonstrating how to check the pre-processed images. Let's start with brain extraction. To begin, we need to remove the skull from our anatomical images. We do this for two reasons. One, we're not interested in the skull and other non-brain areas. And two, removing the skull will improve the alignment of the registration and normalization steps, which are discussed in the next video. First, navigate to the sub-08 directory of your Flanker dataset. When you're there, type FSL and press return. This opens the FSL graphical user interface or GUI. The first button on the menu is BET Brain Extraction. Click on it and notice that it opens up another window. Most of the FSL tools have a field for both the input image, which is the image we want to apply some process to, and an output image, which is the image that is created after the process is completed. Click on the folder icon to select an input image and select the anatomical file in the ANAT directory. Click OK. Notice that this automatically fills in the output image field with the name of the input image and underscore brain appended to it. The input and output fields are required. BET won't work if the fields are empty. The other fields are options, which you can change if you want. Usually, it's best to leave the defaults alone. They've been selected because they give good results for most datasets. For now, click the Go button to run BET. When you see the word finished in the terminal, you'll want to look at how BET changed the image and you'll want to make sure there weren't any problems. Click on the Fossilize button at the bottom of the FSL menu. This opens up the FSL data viewer, which is useful for looking at data after each processing step. Click on File, Add from File, and then hold down Shift to select both the raw and the brain extracted image. Once they've loaded, set the max contrast to 800 for both images to produce the best contrast between the tissue types. Then in the Overlay List panel, highlight the brain extracted image and click on the up arrow next to it to make it overlay the original image. Then click on the contrast color bar and select blue, light blue. This highlights the brain extracted image and makes it easier to see what was removed from the original image. In this case, everything highlighted in blue is the brain extracted image. If you see any gray matter outside of the blue outline, that means brain tissue was removed by BET. If, on the other hand, you see bits of skull within the blue outline, that means some non-brain areas were not removed. Click and drag the crosshairs around the image to see whether too much brain was removed or whether too much skull remains. In this case, it looks like BET was too aggressive. For example, part of the frontal cortex is missing. Close the fossilized window and go back to the BET window. Notice that the fractional intensity threshold controls how much brain is removed. A smaller number allows you to preserve more cortex at the risk of including more non-brain areas. Let's change this to 0.2 and change the output suffix to underscore FO2 to keep our files organized. Click Go and when it finishes, open up Fossilize again. This time, we're going to load the raw image and the newest brain extracted image in the ANAT directory, and then do the same setup as we did previously. Remember to check all three viewing panes and to look around the edges of the brain for any problems. What do you think of this output? Is it better or worse than before? If you have to choose, 
I recommend using a lower threshold, even if that means keeping parts of the skull. For registration and normalization, it tends to be less problematic than the alternative. In the next video, we'll look at the feet button, which will do the rest of the pre-processing steps.